guys it's Mary from SVG Cuts and I'm here in my craft studio and I'm super excited that spring is almost here so I made some really cute little spring bird houses and as you can see the roof fits nice and snug so there's a few more folds to it than what you might be used to here's what it looks like when it's flat so I will show you how to put that together and then as long as you're here I'll also show you how to put together the gourd shaped birdhouse and the milk carton so let's get started. Okay, so this is the roof and that's gonna be the outside on the top. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put either glue or tape along these outer tabs here. Cause I'm just gonna fold them over like so. So I'll do that to all four. And like I always say, well, sometimes I say, you could use glue or tape, it really doesn't matter. Just whatever kind of strikes your fancy at the moment. And for me right now, it's the ATG gun. Just because with the glue, I would have to spend a few extra seconds holding it down. Okay. Then I'm going to put some glue on these two little corners here. Like so. And it's okay if the crease looks a little a little funky because I'm gonna be covering it up with this little piece anyway. So I'll just hold that until it dries a little more while I do the same thing on the other side. So I'll just hold that while it dries a little bit too. Okay. So now these guys are going to fold in. I'm going to do the same thing with these little triangle shaped pieces. But first I'm going to crease it. And I'll just hold that right there till it dries. And I'll do the same thing. And that's gonna be kind of covered up as well by that this little piece here. So it's okay if it looks a little weird. So I'll be doing the same thing again on the other side. And I'll just hold that for a few seconds. Okay. Now I'll go on the other side since it's nice and dry. And this piece, I wanna make sure that this piece is level right here on both sides. And I'm going to glue it down. I'm only going to glue right here. And I want to put it so that it's level. So let's put some glue right here. And for this, I would definitely use glue instead of tape. Just because I'll probably want to kind of wiggle it around and fine tune where it is. So it's even with that part. And I'll just press it down. I'll do the same thing over here. Just a little glue. Make sure it's even. Right there. And these little pieces just help make it a snugger fit 
on the box so it's not flopping around. Okay, so let's glue this on. It's just some cardstock that's the same color that I embossed with my cuddle bug. It just adds a nice finishing touch. And you're probably, some of you are probably wondering what kind of paper this is. The cardstock is AC cardstock. And the cute pattern paper is also by AC American Crafts. It's the Hello Sunshine paper, which I got at Archivers. And when I saw it, I totally had to get it for spring because it's so cute. Okay. So there we have it. Okay. So that is the roof. And that's going to go on like this. And there we go. Okay, so here's my gourd birdhouse. And I've already put everything on the front of it. And here's the back. And this is the part that goes in between. So I've already folded it up. And this is going to go on the inside. So I'm going to glue, start gluing it on the bottom. Over here. I'm just going to do my best to get it right in the center. And then I'm going to just continue going around the side like so. And letting each little tab dry before I move on because I don't want it sliding around. And I think even though the glue on this takes a little bit longer because you have to wait for each part to dry, I would do glue instead of tape just because if I have to scooch it over a little bit, I can. But if you feel really confident with your tape, then go for it. So that's one side, and I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other side, which is the front. And maybe I'll even get lucky and be able to kind of just put all the glue on at once and then just kind of pop the front on and make sure it's okay. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and I'm, I'm starting in the bottom, on the bottom in the middle and really pushing that down and then I'm working my way around one side all the way to the top making sure that none of the corners are sticking off the edge and then I'll just do the same thing on the other side. It's kind of tricky because the front is three-dimensional, so it's not laying down flat, but it's working out pretty good. So there we go. All right, super cute. Okay, so for the milk carton, I've got more of this super cute Hello Sunshine paper, and this is pretty easy. You can use glue if you don't have an ATG gun. No need to run out and buy one, but for this, I feel like using it, and there will really be no need for me to move anything around once I place it down. So I just put one piece on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one you start with. They both kind of go do the same thing. So I'm laying down my double stick tape. And and I will do the same thing. It's just a little trickier because I have 
to do it in the air, kind of. But it works. There we go. Okay. So that forms the box shape. I'm going to do the bottom first because it's easy. just want to work the crease in a little bit. And then I will... You could use your ATG gun, but I'm going to use my glue. And just fold it over and get it centered as best you can. And then I'm going to stick my hand in the other side and push it together. I'm going to stick my hand down in there and rub it with my finger. Okay, there's that. It's not perfectly straight, but it's good enough. And I'll do the same thing. And just push it down. Okay, so you're going to just push out where your fold. I'm putting my fingers inside here and I'm pushing out on this score line right here while I fold these in. See, there we go. And depending on if you like the score lines or not, like I know some people like Cheryl on our design team prefers to score as much herself as possible as opposed to the score marks. Like she would rather not use those as much if possible just because it makes a, a real clean line if you do it yourself. You can either score it yourself or you can use the pre-scored one. You get both options in your download. So I just put glue, I'm only going to glue together from here back because these are the sides that open up. So I put my glue just on this side here. So I'll hold it together and it's super cute. So now if you're using a 6x12 mat you can still make this up to about 4 inches tall. And if you have a bigger mat you can make it as tall as almost 10 inches tall. This one's kind of in between. And it looks cute if you put a little ribbon around the top and you can totally embellish it, whatever. Put some jelly beans in there and that's it.